When pollinating corn, it's important to understand the, a little bit about the biology of the corn plant. So the tassel is the male flower on the corn plant, and that is where the pollen comes from, the anthers. And then the female flower are the silks, which grow from the end of the ear shoots. As soon as you start to see the tassel emerging from the plant, you want to go out into your field and cover all of the shoots that are emerging before you see the silks. Because once the silks have emerged, um, they are able to be pollinated by any pollen that is available in the plants around or even farther away. So when you come out to your corn patch, you look for a plant such as this, where the shoot has emerged, but the silks have not come out yet. And that's what you want to cover. So I use a pollinating knife, and you want to cut back these flag leaves because they'll just get in the way. So you slice that off, and then with a shoot bag, you want to immediately cover that ear shoot. And the objective is to get it covered so that now, as those silks start to grow and emerge, they'll be inside the bag. As you can see on this plant, there are two ears, this ear and then the one below it. But we've only shoot bagged the top ear because that is the one that the plant will put the most energy into. And so we really only want to pollinate the top ear. And once you've covered all the shoots in your plot, then the next step is going to be to bag the pollen. And ideally you'd like to bag the tassels when most of them are shedding their pollen. And when you look at the tassel, you see it has a main stalk and then a number of auxiliary stalks. And then with this tassel, you see these anthers are starting to come out on the main stalk. And the anthers are what shed the pollen. So you need to make sure that there are anthers coming out at least on the main auxiliary stalk before you decide to bag the pollen. So this tassel is ready to be bagged. And it's really important with the pollinating bag to make sure that you don't touch the bottom of the bag. So you have these side flaps that you can use to open it up. And I just squeeze the tassel and then I slide the bag right over. And I want to snug it down into this first leaf sheath because that will ensure that it won't blow off. Then once I have it down far enough, I will fold the bag around the stalk and then I fold it up again to form that little V. And what that does is that ensures that any pollen now that will be shed from this tassel is going to be trapped in this bag. And then I use a paper clip, but you could also use a stapler. And I put a paper clip on it to hold it snug. And all the pollen that now will shed in the next 24 hours will stay within this bag. And then it will be ready tomorrow to pollinate our corn. Once you have set up your tassel bag, you want to prepare the shoot for the next day's pollination. Each individual silk will pollinate a single kernel on your ear of corn. So it's very important to get a good pollination. And the way to do that is to cut back your silks the day before you're going to make the pollination. So we have here this bag that we've already covered. And the silks have started to grow in this bag. So what I want to do is I want to cut those silks back to give a good, fresh pollination for tomorrow. So to do that, I'll lift up my shoot bag and I'll just cut back right below the flag leaves with my pollinating knife. And that will give a nice circular center where I can see fresh silks. And I will immediately cover that back up with my shoot bag and let those grow for another day. And so tomorrow, when I come back to pollinate this corn with the tassel bags that I've set up, there'll be fresh silk growth, which will ensure a good pollination of the ear. So now we're ready to take the tassel bags down to pollinate the corn. When you first take the tassel bag down, you want to give it a few hits. That releases any extra pollen that might be hanging on in the anthers. Undo the bag shake the tassel in, and then you want to close it quickly. Again, to make sure that if there's any extra pollen that's floating around, that it doesn't contaminate your bag. 
So you want to take down all the bags that you set up the previous day. Fold them up. Now that you have collected your pollen, the next step is to bulk the pollen into one bag. It's important to do this in the middle of your plot. Once again, that ensures that any pollen that might accidentally get into your bag most likely is from the same corn that you've just collected the pollen in. So take one of the bags that you've collected, open it up, and then quickly, as quickly as you can, again, to avoid any contamination, you want to dump the pollen from each bag into one collective bag. And what this does is it combines the pollen from all of your plants so that when you're pollinating your corn, you're getting a mix of the genetics from all of the plants in your plot. And ideally, you're not getting any pollen that's outside of your plot. Once again, when you've collected all your pollen, you want to close your bag just to minimize any outside exposure. The final step is to now pollinate the corn. We've collected all of the pollen into one bag, and the next step will be to pour the pollen onto every silk that we've prepared from the previous day. So what I do is I fold my bag to make a nice funnel that the pollen can flow down. And you wanna to try to do this step as quickly as possible, once again, to minimize any outside exposure that the silks might have to foreign pollen. So first I'll shake the anthers, which don't really contain much pollen, to get them out of my way. And I can actually see the pollen in my bag as it's coming down this fold that I've made. So now that I can see the pollen in the bag, I remove the shoot to see the new growth from yesterday's cutback. I shake the pollen. I can see the pollen coming out. It's okay that there's anthers on there. And I immediately cover it back up with the shoot bag. Once again, minimizing any extra time that these silks are exposed to outside pollen. And with the remainder of my pollen in my bag, I then pollinate all of the ears that I cut back the day before that are ready to be pollinated. Then finally, I will go back through and cover all of the shoots that were pollinated with a tassel bag to make sure that as the ear continues to grow and develop that it doesn't get contaminated by any foreign pollen. So I take a tassel bag, I open it up, I cover the shoot that I pollinated, tuck the bag down behind the ear. I take the two outside flaps and I wrap it around the stalk of the corn. And then with a stapler, I staple the bag and now it will stay on that plant until the full mature ear is ready to be harvested. By following these steps, you can maintain the genetic diversity in your corn population and ensure that you have quality corn to enjoy for many years.